Well, today a little concrete patch, and what happened was the internet people came, and there was no way to get the wire into the house, so what they did was they cut the concrete, the owners, and they got some conduit, and they put the wire through, so now it's an even sidewalk. So I'm going to show you how I did it. So we're just going to patch this hole in here, as you can see it. Let's say for demonstration's sake that you wanted to put a piece of conduit through a piece of concrete. And it's going to be that thick. Alright, so you could get a board and get the saw and then clamp the board down and go even with the board so you don't make any mistakes. And then you can get your saw, like you can get a a bigger saw of course but I usually follow the board and I score it a little bit like this and then I follow my line Now I got my lines in, they're a little bit crooked, they wouldn't be if I had followed the board, but now I'm going to cut between them. So now you can just get a screwdriver, like this, see? that and now you got your hole now you can put your conduit through it and we're just going to get some sand now this is Florida so we're going to use Portland limestone cement So if you measured this, it'd about be about three to one, but this is Florida, so it's not a big deal. So add water and mix thoroughly. No dry pours. Add water and mix thoroughly. So it's all mixed. You see, it's not mixed wet, but it's mixed. It's mixed thoroughly. It is not a dry pour. Stay away from dry pours. Now we're going to make sure it's down a little bit. And we're going to pack it in there. See that? We're going to pack it in there. Just like that.
Okay, now we're just going to get our little edger here. Find our edge. Last time around, you get just a little sponge and wet it a little bit. Just go over the top of it like that. That'll smooth that all out. See that? That's it. Okay, this is a couple weeks later, and there it is right there. You see, I didn't even have to uh, uh, put mud over it to match it. So when you're doing a job like that, especially in Florida, I only mixed it one part Portland to three parts sand. And then what I did was I added the water and I mixed it thoroughly. It's not a dry pour mix, but it's what they call swimming pool mix, where all the water is inside of it. And when they put it around swimming pools, they tamp it in. The main reason I did that is it doesn't dirty up the sidewalk and it matches right in there pretty good. So it's what they call dry, a dry mix. A lot of stone masons used it in Europe when they were doing stonework. But you mix it dry and it doesn't leave marks around it and you, then you could just clean it up. So that's it. Thanks for watching. I'm Mike Haddock. See you next video.